This may possibly be our last day of Outer Wilds. It worked. Holy mother, it worked. Oh my gosh, I keep getting goosebumps. Okay, let's focus. We're, we're panicking right now. I'm, I'm, I'm like heavy mouth breathing right now. I'm heavy mouth breathing. Oh my Lanta. Oh. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Okay, go. Why are games so good, you guys? Okay, you guys, this may possibly, possibly be our last day of Outer Wilds. I don't wanna set the bar too high because if we don't finish it today, I don't want you to be disappointed. So if you do not recall, there is one giant question mark we have not filled out and it is called the Ash Twin Project. And from what I understand, it is basically like a huge repository for the memories of the Nomai, which is a species that has come before us. So I think if we can get in there, it is going to really give us a clue as to next steps or what we should be doing in this game. So I've been theorizing and theorizing, and I think I've been overthinking it. So I really think there's been two ways that we can travel in this game. Well, three ways. One, we can use our, spa we can use our spaceship to travel there. Well, I don't think that's right because I don't know where I'm traveling to. And we know specifically we need to go to Ash Twin, which is a planet. And we specifically know that you cannot physically travel to that location because it's sealed off. Those are all facts we know. So we cannot fly there, okay? So that's not an option. Option two, we have used quantum entanglement to travel, which means we're in contact with a quantum object we stop observing it and then it moves. I don't think that's an option specifically because the cognitive map that we have, which sort of ties all of our information together, does not link the quantum stuff with the Ash Twin project. And I've thought about it and I played around with it. There's only two things we can use to travel via quantum entanglement. And both those things don't seem like an option. There's a quantum rock that you can stand on and there's a quantum shrine. Both of those things do not interact with Ash Twin directly. So I don't think we can travel there quantumly. So my theory is we have to be able to get there via a warp pad. That's the third method of travel. So the warp pads, we know specifically there was a special high power warp pad built for the Ash Twin project. And we know that there is a warp pad to be able to travel to Ash Twin. And I don't know if I've been having issues with that warp pad, if I never tried it just a complete accident or what the deal is, but I think we just straight up warp there and we need to try that. So I think that is our, I, that's, that's our plan is we're gonna warp to Ash Twin. All right, space suit on. We are going to Ash Twin. This is what I think we're looking for. Okay, can we get in here? without touching the uh, cacti. Okay, so here's one. And I'm, I'm fairly confident I have been on this warp pad before. So we'll stand on this warp pad and see where it takes us. It should be either Ash Twin or Ember Twin once it's overhead. Oh, there's my ship. So if it goes to Ember Twin, we should warp when this gets overhead. I think. And we warped, okay. Where am I? Ember Twin. Okay, so we need to be on the other one. Okay, so... Which one were we just at? This one with the scroll. 
So we need to be on this one. We need to warp on this one now. And I'm concerned because there's no roof. Maybe that's why I've never successfully warped. Maybe that's why. So I'm going to go right here. Wait for the planet to be above us. Well, that's odd because we only warp if the planet is aligned above us that we're trying to warp to. But they did say the hourglass twins were special because the center of their body was actually between them. So I think when a sandstorm is above us is when we should actually warp. Okay, here comes the sandstorm. Ooh, Ryan, I have a theory. This is my theory. My theory is we have to warp there and I can re-explain it. If we are wrong, I do not know what direction to go. It worked. Holy mother, it worked. Oh, I actually did not expect that to work. So I swear I've tried to warp there before, but I don't know if I just like got sucked up in the sandstorm instead. And so oh, we are inside the thing, you guys. Oh, we need to work. We need to work because I don't want to get 10 minutes, 48 seconds ago, received data from previous cycles. Probe tracking module mask data received. Giant Steep memory statue, Timber Hearth memory statue. 12 minutes until end of cycle transmission. Oh my God, I'm getting goosebumps right now. So we have seen this. We have seen this before. Oh, <gasps> why is this one dead? Oh. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Okay, so these are basically, think of these as giant data sticks, you guys. There's our warp thing, so we can warp back. Today we finished the excavation of Ash Twin. Here in this space we carved, we will craft our most ambitious project yet, the Ash Twin Project. Powerful enough to send information back in time. We finished relocating all subterranean plants we met while digging. We'll need to keep our eyes out on how we've altered the environment here. How far we've come since our experiments at the high energy lab. I can hardly believe the hypothesis was true. Uh, we just sent the warp core from the final tower to us from the black hole forge. Now Ash Twin can be connected with Giant Steep where they're crafting an orbital probe cannon and where they're sculpting the memory statues. It was not by accident. The core of our warp tower was the last to be forged. The cores could have been forged faster if Cassava had interrupted my work last. Oh, bicker, bicker. The important point is they're all connected through Ash Twin now, and I'm no longer needed for mediating your disagreements. Yeah, I feel that, Yarrow. Our friends on Giant's Deep tested the orbital probe cannon today. The cannon is doing well, and Avans advocates for more launch power. If anyone can coax the maximum power for a device, that person can. But then if anyone can go to device into exploding, he also can. Perhaps I should check in with the Orbital Probe Cannon crew. Would it help to remind Avans that Malo will be one of the Nomai aboard the cannon? Okay, we kind of already known about all of this stuff they're talking about. The memory statues are finished and they are remarkable. When the Ash Twin project succeeds, or if it fails, the memory statues were activated, allowing us to gather more data before we shut down the project. Oh, there's so much to read. We've worked hard on the Sun Station, and it is last complete. If anything, if everything goes as planned, this structure will prompt the Sun's explosion and will turn, in turn, supply the power to the Ash Twin project. So we didn't cause the Sun to explode, or at least they said it didn't, but we know it's exploding. I'm impressed by their mental fortitude. This was the project's most difficult task in more ways than one. And we're nearly ready to activate the Ash Twin project. Here is what will happen. First, the Sun Station will receive the order to fire at the Sun, prompting it to explode. Using the energy from the resulting supernova, the Ash Twin project will send the order for the orbital probe cannon to fire back in time by 22 minutes. Exactly 22 minutes after these orders are received, the Sun Station will again trigger the supernova to send the probe data from this cannon launch back in time. My brain hurts. 
In total, each cycle created by the Ash Twin Project will last precisely 22 minutes. We can end this cycle at will. We can? Where's that information? So that's why we've been cycling is because this project is working. They're forcing the sun to explode and gathering information and then sending it back in time so we can have an eternal 22 minute cycle. But why? These words are difficult to write. The sun station did not work. Big to differ. Suppose we redesign the sun station to generate power of that magnitude. A supernova is still our only viable option. I believe we can still find a way to create a supernova. This is easier expressed than accomplished. We can wait for the sun to explode on its natural timeline, if you prefer, but you'll need to find some way to halt our aging process. Oh, so they just decided to wait until the sun naturally aged. But in order to do that, they have to last a super long time because there's no telling how old the sun can become. However, this is the closest we have ever been. The Ash Twin project is theoretically sound. We were only unable to power it. Perhaps there's another way. We are halting our research into creating a supernova for this moment. Comet has newly arrived into the solar system and we're anxious to explore it. Oh, we did find all that weird deadly rock in the comet that was super, super, super unstable. We did find that. It's been a very long time since we last explored somewhere new, so we're excited to welcome this comet. Imagine what knowledge might be gained there. Oh, I wanna read more stuff because I'm concerned about the time progressing. Giant steep projection stone. Okay, we have three stones. Three stones, let's make sure to use them all. I've installed the masks inside the Ash Twin project. They look beautiful, although I feel like I'm being observed. It's comforting to know the statues will not pair until the project succeeds. Ideally, they'll only need to activate once the project succeeds. As a safety measure, the statues will also activate in the event of equipment failure. We know this. They will, why is that? If anything goes wrong, the statues will make us aware of the situation and enable us to fix it. Otherwise, it would be possible for us to remain permanently unaware of the problem. I hadn't thought of that. See, we've already read that before put that down. What's this one? Brutal hollow projection stone. I'm concerned. Time is, time is really spinning. I have good news. The advanced warp core is ready to be installed in the central chamber. I'm intrigued. Everyone here working on the Ash Twin project is excited to see it. It's not ready. Is everything well? We read this before. The core's durability still needs improved. I need more time. The core is finished. She's only nervous. The core is extraordinary. Her work is clever. Okay, read that already before. That's nothing new. Timber hearth projection stone. My gratitude for the latest shipment. This ore should be the last we need for the Ash Twin project. This is exciting. Can I offer an extra set of eyes for this final check? If my work here is complete, I'll be delighted to help. We'd be grateful. The more eyes, the better. The smallest flaw in the shell that protects the Ash Twin project could lead to disaster. Once we finish the shell that seals off the central chamber, we'll check it. So they did check it a million times. There's no cracks. That's how I knew we couldn't fly there or get there via like any physical means. Okay. Holy cow, power stuff. Like what? Am, what is this? What is this? Artificial gravity control. Uh, let's keep that on. Let's definitely keep that on. Let's not touch that. Oh, okay. Yes, let's touch this. Can I just like leave this here and read this? I'm concerned I'm going to break something is what I'm concerned about. You're about to access the core while the Ash Twin Project is active. Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin Project. <gasps> okay, so are we turning this off? We're not gonna time loop anymore? Oh my gosh, I keep getting goosebumps. Um, okay, so obviously I need to turn the gravity off now, right? Cause I, I think I need that core, that warp, that core right there or something. 
just want to make sure to be in the correct spot. Okay, that was too, too much. Slow ourselves down. You know the only time I've seen one of these before. Now what? No, for real. Like, now what? I turned it off. It is finished. No, for, like, what do I do? Hey, Durgo, it was broken in the vessel. Do we take this to the vessel? The lights turned off. The music stopped. Oh, 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 oh. Um, I need to roll. Uh, oh, I, I can't even put this down. I think I have to take this to the vessel. Maybe? Okay, gravity's working again, but the lights are not. Uh... I've never traveled with something before. Does that stay in my hand? Uh, we're gonna take this to the vessel. That's the only time I've seen it before. Where's my ship? The music has changed. I don't know if we're gonna make it there in time. We were really slow. Oh, time doesn't shift. Time doesn't. Time doesn't shift anymore. Or it is right now. Dude, I have such goosebumps, I can't even tell you. Like, my whole legs are goosebumps right now. There it is. A hollowed out chamber inside Ash Twin. Energy cables from the surface are plugged into a protective casing at the center of the planet. There are eight monoliths with no my masks attached. Three of the masks are actively receiving data from tr probe tracking module Giant Steep and Timber Hearth, respectively. The Ash Twin project was designed to use the energy from a supernova to send probe data from orbital probe cannon 22 minutes into the past. The sun station did not work. The Nomai were unable to power. There is an advanced warp core inside the protective casing at the center of the planet. Removing the core will disable the Ash Twin project, which means it will no longer loop. So let's go to the vessel. So help us if those anglerfish stop us. Okay, I guess I just like drive with this. Oh. Dude, you know you're on the right track when the music gets intense, right? All right, I want out of here. Dude, look at the sun. I mean, the sun could still die on us. All right, we're out of there. And we're going to not the sun. Nope. Okay, we need a uh, bramble. Dark bramble, where is it? I still feel very pressured to hurry this, this up. Bro. Dark Bramble. Okay, we need to go around the bend over here. Whew, you guys. Freaking out. <laughs> uh, excuse me, where is my Dark Bramble planet? I would not like the sun to die as I'm just like searching for a planet. Okay, I don't actually want to go here. I just need to get back into the solar system. I'm here. Oh, it's behind me. Supposedly. There it is. I see it. Right there. Let's go. Oh, 
But three days later, the sun rose again, didn't it? There's always hope. There's always hope. Really good new clip. Uh, if you guys, um, there's a third ring to, oh, there was a third ring. Oops. I don't think time restarts now, Sloth, so I don't have to be in such a rush, but the sun is still dying. Remember, they just, they couldn't explode the sun on their own. So they just were like, well, let's wait for the sun to die on its own. So there's still a chance. That's why it's big and red. There's still a chance it could go down on us. I mean, the galaxy is ending. So it still could be a 22 minute natural time loop, but then the game is over because I turned it off and we don't time loop when the sun explodes. So that's big. That's actually a worse problem. Okay, stop autopilot. Okay. I have a feeling the anglerfish are still in here, which is so unfortunate for us. Oh my gosh, dude, we were coming at this thing. All right, so let's be smart. No, I don't, I just want out of my seat for a second. We're still holding this thing. This game does not want us to lose it. The vessel M marked. We're going to the vessel, you guys. We're going to the vessel 2.7 kilometers away. May the intense music protect us and not turn into dark Brambo music. I am using our thrusters like a little bit. I'm trying to get lined up with this thing, okay. If we get jump scared right now, oh my gosh. Do you understand why they wanted to go back 22 minutes? I mean, I assume it's because I don't know. I was assuming because that's, no, I have no idea. But don't tell me, don't, don't. I need to link all that stuff up by myself. At first I was assuming because that's when that's when the sun was dying, but like they got to choose, you know? And they chose 22 minutes well before they realized that the sun was dying. Like they, they specifically said 22 minutes and I haven't, I have not even thought about the significance of that other than that's how long our time loop is. Oh, we're dying. Oh, does the game end? But I have this. We're not dead. The sun died and we are not dead. We're dying, we're dying. We're, we're definitely dying. I take it, we're dying. We're still dying. Does the game end? Okay, I've got to do that faster, but I won't have to do so much reading this next time. So, you are dead. Well, cold it. <laughs> uh, no, I don't want the game to end. Like, not like this. Okay, so we're going to do it faster this time. We're going to Ash Twin. So here's what I think we're going to do. We're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to get that core. We've got to be fast about getting the core and getting straight back to Ash Twin. We're going to take our ship and we're going to go straight to the vessel. The vessel is the only thing that I know has a warp core that died. And now all of a sudden I'm in possession of a, of a new warp core. We're going to plug in <laughs> the coordinates for the center of the galaxy, the eye of the galaxy. And we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna do this. I don't, I, I'm not confident in my plan. It feels right. It feels like pretty straightforward. And if there's one thing I've learned about this game, it's that, it, you know, it's pretty straightforward. It may be not straightforward at first, but the solutions are pretty straightforward. 
So I have a fixed warp core. There was only one instance in this game I've run into a broken warp core. Therefore, I will bring the fixed warp core to the broken warp core area. Plug in some coordinates. They're the only coordinates I have ever learned ever and see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna jump on this once the sandstorm passes, like right at the end, because we do have a five degree time frame where the warp pad is on and still active. Right. Yes, oh my gosh, I thought the sandstorm was taking us. We're here, we're here, we're here. Run. I've read all of this. I know what's up. We're going to power this up first, then we're gonna power down gravity. Power this up first. Say bye bye to the time loop. Wait, actually it doesn't matter. It took us to the same save point. I was like, well, I could actually turn it back. No, it won't. It needs the... And we're up. That was a little much. We've got it, folks. We've got it. And we're going in. And we're in. I don't want to, why would I drop the warp core? How come it's giving me a drop warp core now? Now I'm concerned I'm gonna accidentally drop it. Last time it would not, oh, I can't put it down. I can only put it down on a real ground, it seems like, okay? Dark Bramble, let's go. This is my only thought, is get this to the vessel and warp the heck out of this galaxy before it blows up. Wait, why is the music starting again? Okay, while we're going, I need to mark. That's gonna give me like no time. Accelerating towards destination, thank you. Provolone! Hey, Woo Pig! Thanks, Miss Jesse. We do need to go, go, go. I just, if, I mean, if this is the ending music, then we're doing something wrong because there's no way that I can get to this vessel. This is a dramatic moment. Uh, Joe, please don't give me any game clues or anything unless I specifically ask for them, even little things like that. Okay, Vessel, wow. Okay, we want to go to, uh, I usually go to the close one, but I think, okay, we'll go to the closer one. If the sun blows up, I'm gonna be extremely disappointed because this is obviously not the answer. Cause that would be, I mean, I know I'm going slow. Oops, I crashed. Oh shoot, almighty. They are still here. Oh, we're gonna run into him. I really hope they like, I don't know, went into a deep hibernation for this last section of the game. But nope. Oh, Dev, you don't. On YouTube, I just posted the anglerfish episode. If you guys want to see any of the other episodes, definitely go check out YouTube. I have all but our last, I think all one through six are available. 
Don't, I'm gonna turn those things off, you guys. You don't even know. I used the smallest of boosters right there. I, I still don't know if this is the right answer, but it has to work so I can at least test it out. And I'm concerned that my... I need to go down. Oh, I'm going up. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Oh no, he heard me. No, no. Let me in. We're in. We're in. Please let me in. Please let me in. Please let me in. We did it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Headlights and landing gear. I don't care. That's fine. <sighs> we must do this for humanity, you guys, or whatever these creatures are called. Okay. The vessel. We are here. I've got my... I've got my Eye of the Universe coordinates right next to me. Okay. Hey, remember the first time we were here and I couldn't find the entrance for a really long time? Yeah, I cut that out of the VOD for you guys, so I didn't look so dumb. The music is starting. The music is better. Oh, reverse. Oh my gosh, dude. Freaking out. Insert warp core. Okay, let's focus. We're, we're panicking right now. We are panicking. Insert warp core. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay. Oh, gravity is working. Thank heavens. Okay, I've got the symbol right here. We've got to do here, 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 and then down here. Oh, gravity makes this so much easier. Then we've got to do like kind of a fish ribbon symbol okay and then we've got to do the crazy zigzag this is what made me think this wasn't correct but i am i am really thinking this has to be it this is this is everything i've got in my brain that has been rattling around all weekend Or mega wrong. Oh heavens, nobody nothing's prepared me for what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Now what? We we went here. We're here. It's a new sun. Oh my gosh. The door's closed. I don't... Let's exit. <sighs> is this... This is all quantum stuff? Uh, I could use a map. There's the vessel. Oh, it looks so cool. We, we are on, this is the eye of the universe. There's the quantum moon that orbits it. There's our sun. It's going to blow up. Gravity is strong here, so we shouldn't use our boosters. What is this?
I'm, I'm, I'm like heavy mouth breathing right now. I'm heavy mouth breathing. Okay, what if the eye of the galaxy is not a good thing? Oh, trees? Oh, heavens, everything is quant- I need to pick up my feet. One moment, everybody. Things are, my controller is vibrating and it's concerning me. Oh my Lanta. Sloth. Can't go up. Oh, hey, Carol. Thank you for lurking. Carol's my sister, everybody. Say hello, Carol. Should I try to go up? Will it create a quantum bridge for me or something? Geronimo. Oh, now what? Oh, I have goosebumps. I will turn those off. This is Timber Hearth. Oh. I will observe that one moment. I didn't know if I could look at that. I don't remember that being down. Did we just poof out of existence? Wait, where am I? Where should we go? We should obviously pick one with some trees next to it, right? What?
Wow. This is like a brand new world. Oh, they're dying. Some of them are dying. They're poofing. Oh. Don't poof out of existence. Oh, I was going to pick that one. <gasps> Why is everything poofing? Crane, yeah. <gasps> Tell me what to do, Rock. Okay, I'm just gonna keep walking, I guess. Unidentified sig- I saw my signal scope! I can't change it to anything, though. Ryan. Oh! Did you guys see that? Drink. I am wildly uncertain what's going on. What is happening? playing that banjo. I don't even know what to say about all this. I'm speechless. Yes, I I heard the music. Sure did. It's gone. It's here. Oh, there's a crack. I'm seriously concerned about going in here, if I'm being honest. This crack was not here a second ago. 
right? It's disintegrating. It's disintegrating. Oh my gosh. It's quantumly disintegrating. Oops, too much. It's disappearing. We're gonna need to have a discussion, you guys, about what is going on. It's not quite time yet. I'm pretty sure we'll need the others for this next part. We need everyone. Take your time. You want me to go get that? Maybe let's get another one first, huh? Or I just launch myself into outer space that may or may not exist right now. Can we pick the shanty? I don't think so. Across old bark. Okay, that is unfair. We are not on that planet anymore. Does it have to flicker all like that? All right, let's go get the, whatever this music is. It's fine. I'm not going to get a headache from tension later. No, where's that other sound? Yeah, that sound. It's always dark. Oh, we're up here. Oh, you gotta be up here, Gabbro, or... Yeah, I think this is Gabro's. Okay, come on. <gasps> oh, come on. It's always dark. Yep. Go get tambourine that's out in outer space next to the supernova that's about to explore. Can we get a thousand lumen flashlight? Yes, exactly, Durgo. Oh, there it is. This feels like gonna be my downfall. Oh, what? This feels bad. Maybe these guys have a clue or they can go get it themselves.
Oh, Feldspar. Go on, go get the others. So you're getting the band back together, huh? Go on, go find the others. Can you do it? Okay, I'll do it. What old Isaiah say? Who shall go? Send me! Ooh. And... Oh! Okay, that didn't seem to work correctly. Ah. Some look for trouble. This puzzle isn't well designed. Oh, I'll I'll get it. I'll I'll get it. Maybe. me back. We need the drums. Oi. Okay, I don't quite understand this one. Which is good. It's distracting me from how tense I'm feeling right now. At an angle, you think? Like... It disappeared here, too. And if I keep... Eh, I, I flickered back. Maybe I can't step in front of that thing? Maybe that's what you were kind of saying? Maybe we can not find an anglerfish lurking in the dark? Okay. Oh! I still have this guy. Oh, even he launched back. What? Piano? We've never heard this before. There's an unknown signal up there. It was, Kitty. I just don't... Oh! <gasps> what? This doesn't feel right yet. I need to get the band together. Oh, we're stuck. I just was trying to get the drums. You guys.
Good, I have no space shuttle again. Fine. If you have heart problems, you probably shouldn't play this game. Okay, we just got the mass. Oh, Solanum. My friend. Everyone must be here before we can begin. Once they arrive, I'll be ready for the next step. I'm glad you remembered me. Okay, we're missing drums. Noted. Yeah, no noted. It's all right. You're seeing the end, Fatbeard, so I feel like it would be tough to replay unless you give it a good, solid, long break. Okay, I'm studying it. Nope. getting closer. Now it's getting further, which makes sense. It's orbiting a red thing. It's, I can't go past here. The beats of her heart. Maybe send your little dude. Okay. I can send my little guy. Okay, this is as close as I can get. Oh, got her! I just had to stare at it. I got it, I got it. It's weird, really weird. You know, we had to Akio that thing. Or whatever. Got it, nailed it. <laughs> we had to zoom in. Wow, could you not leave your drums in outer space next time? Thanks. Shall I begin? Well, here I go. I wait. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Okay, go. Begin. A conscious observer has entered the eye. I wonder what happens now. Is it time to find out? Whoa. Hold on, let's get the whole band playing first. Let's play. Esker, you don't have a... I can't wait to play with the whole group. Can I start? Oh, he's the whistler. That's right. All right, Solanum. My feet are up. Let's see what this does. A conscious observer has entered the eye. I wonder what happens now. It's right. It's quantum. It... Until you observe it, you don't, it doesn't maintain a form. Is it time to find out? Yes. The song is new to me, but I'm honored to be a part of it. a planet. We've reached the end of our journey. We have to collapse the innumerable possibilities before us. Hold on. I learned a lot by the end of everything. The past is the past, but that's, you know, that's okay. It's never really gone completely. The future is always built on the past, even if we won't get to see it. Still, it's time for something new. Even if it's over now, I had a good time learning. I think the rules are about to change. How long has it been since I got to make music with everyone around a campfire? I'm really happy we're all here. You cut it a little close, don't you think? Whoa. 
It worked out all right in the end, I suppose. I hope there are beasties in the next one. Disagree. I'll tell you what, this has been really fun and I got to help make something pretty cool, so I've got no complaints. I mean, not me exactly, but close enough. It's the kind of thing that makes you glad you stopped and smelled the pine trees along the way, you know? All right, Solonim, we must select a possibility. Are you ready to learn what comes next? Yes, I admire your curiosity. Let's find out together. Do I go in there? Go, go in. Games so good, you guys. <laughs>